Hi, this is Ken from Origin Lab. In this video, we'll be learning about the new color chooser in Origin 2016. Here we have a basic categorical bar graph that we would like to modify. When we go to the drop down menu of the Fill tool, we can see the default 24 colors, and additionally, a menu featuring a variety of ready made color lists. You can see in the bottom of the Fill menu that all recent colors are displayed, along with custom colors. To add a custom color, simply click on the blank box, prompting the Color Tool window. From here we can define a custom color, or use the eyedropper tool to select colors on the visible screen. To replace one of these custom colors, simply hold Ctrl while clicking on it. Now let's look at another new feature in Origin 2016, the Buy Points tab. Here we have a bar graph of the serial consumption of different European countries. To further differentiate between them, let's go to the Buy Points tab and select a color from the Increment From palette. This will set our graph to begin with this color and cycle through all subsequent U's in the color list. And to add other color lists, we can simply use the drop down menu below the Increment From palette. Color indexing offers a quick and versatile way to display different variables on the same graph. For example, if we want to compare different demographics in this recovery time scatter plot, we can select indexing to gender, or the drug in question. Then, to generate a legend that reflects these changes, simply click on the Reconstruct Legend button. Next, we have a scatter plot of human temperature time series in the evening. Suppose we want to color code it relative to the temperature reading. To do this, we would go to Buy Points and under Color Mapping, select column B, Evening Temperatures. This sets our color map to a default palette, which we can then modify in the Palettes button. After changing our graph to our desired palette, click the Add Color Scale button to add a value-based legend to the graph. In this next graph, we have three different columns of data for categories A through E. If we want to change the color scheme for all of these data values, let's click on our graph and select a different color list under the Buy Plots tab. Now, let's assume we want to customize this further and change the color of just one of the column series. Click on the graph, and then with your data selected, click a second time on one of the columns in the series you'd like to change. From here, we can modify the colors for that series. Then, if there's a single piece of data we wish to highlight further, all we have to do is simply click a third time after our data has already been selected. Once we have our single piece of data, we can change its color individually, creating a new sublayer over the graph. Because Origin treats this individual value as a unique object, we can still change the color scheme of our graph without altering the formatting for this single piece of data. Should we decide that we want this single piece of data to revert back to the color scheme of the rest of the data, all we have to do is simply select that one bar and press Delete, instantly changing it back to the color of the rest of the data. Bar graphs are just one visualization that work with indexed color formatting. Here we have several sets of data that we've plotted as a waterfall graph. If we want to color code these lines by their z-values, all we have to do is go to the Line Border drop-down menu and select Color Mapping under the By Plots tab. Now our graph cycles through the entire spectrum of default colors from the plot's least to greatest values. Alternatively, if we want to color our plot by its Y values rather than the Z, we can go to the Line Border drop-down menu and in the Buy Points tab select Y Value Color Mapping. To alter the scale of these colors to our Y values, double-click on the graph to open the Plot Details dialog. Go to the Color Map tab and click on the Level column if you want to custom define the values our colors are displayed at. In this case, the minimum and maximum Y values have already been generated. Origin 2016 also stores recent colors in the color selector for convenient access. However, if you'd like to clear these, this can easily be done by closing out of Origin and going to your User Files folder. Here you'll find a configuration file called Origin. Open this file in Notepad and search for recent colors. There you'll find any number of custom colors that you've previously defined. To clear this list, simply select from the bracketed label down and delete the text in question. Save your config file and close out of Notepad. The next time you open Origin, you'll find the recent color list has been cleared. 